Good evening, everybody. I am Susan High, and I'm here. Hopefully, I'll get some people jumping on to let me know that the internet is working. I think it had a little struggle here a minute ago, so hopefully, we will get everything going smoothly here in just a second. So, I am here to share something I'm super passionate about, and you are probably here for maybe a couple different reasons. So, I've got some notes here, so if you see me looking down, then please know I'm not trying to ignore you all. Um, I have a lot I want to share with you, and if I don't keep track on notes, um, I lose my place and I forget things. So, But you are probably here for one of a few different reasons. Hey, Christy. Hey. So I love to look at the comments, but if I look at the comments, <laughs> I'm going to squirrel all over the place. So, um, so forgive me. If you post a question or you're saying hi, like, hi, I'm like so glad you're here. But I won't be able to respond to everybody that comes in. But I love for everybody to chat below, believe me. And I will go back afterwards and look at the comments because that's the funnest part. Like, I, I feel like we're kind of hanging out in, you know, my little beach house here where we're at. So, anyways, but you are probably here for one of these reasons. Um, either you've heard about, you know, essential oils and you're kind of like going, what is going on? Like, I really need to get a little more information. Maybe you're here because you are ready to support your immune system and your body in the best way that you can. Um, maybe you've really uh, taken note of our healthcare system and our food system and realize it's not really living up to what you, you know, are desiring for yourself and your family. Maybe you want to get toxic chemicals out of your home. If you've been doing any kind of little research on that, you'll know how impactful that is to you and your family. Maybe you are active, but you have a desire to be a little more active and feel even better and more energetic. And this one's, this one's me. How many of you guys could use help improving your mood? Like, if we don't have like two hands up there, I think people are not really telling the truth because, you know, we have these kind of days, you know, if, as a mom. So, so I'm going to just jump in and share a little bit of my story because I think a lot of people can relate to that and when we're genuine about, you know, what has happened to us, I think it can be really impactful and help other people. So back in 2013, I was really struggling um, in my journey as a mom um, and really was looking um, for support for, for my emotions. I was in a pretty desperate place to find a routine that could help me be the best mom, best friend, best wife. And I was really struggling with, um, with finding what that looked like. So my journey um, started uh, with looking at young, uh, oils, and then I discovered Young Living. And within three months of incorporating oils and a few other little changes, my life was dramatically different. And so I began sharing that on my blog, which is theconfidentmom.com, and because I knew there was other moms that felt the same as me, and so I shared, and it just kind of blossomed, and so many other people felt relief like I did, and so I started really looking at other areas that I could do changes in for my life to feel better, and supporting my body just beyond the emotions, and you know what, in all areas of my life, things have improved, and here I am four years later, and I just turned 50, you guys, and I feel amazing. And if I had not um, discovered Young Living and just shifted my focus on what I could do to help my body be in the best place that it could, I wouldn't be here. So I just, um, I just want to encourage you, if you are in a place where maybe you're a little bit desperate, um, please know that there is hope. There is always hope. So, so I do believe when you give the body what it needs, um, it will um, take care of itself and it will um, be able to return to a place that gives you joy and where you feel really good. So I am not an expert by any means. Like I said, I am just a mom, but I've been using Young Living for four years. So I think that I have a little experience and that's why I wanted to share with you all. So know that there are tons of resources available. Like I started at ground zero and just through educating myself and learning from some other people, that's how I grew in my knowledge of how to incorporate oils and Young Living supplements and those kind of things. So 
Um, so a disclaimer, I just want to say that I am not a medical professional. Um, the information shared tonight is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any illness or any disease. Um, my sharing and what I'm going to provide tonight does not replace the um, replace professional medical attention or advice. And anything shared here tonight, um, I just share sh say to share and use um, the application of this information um, with the knowledge that you have. And we are only discussing Young Living oils tonight. So no other oils can be used in the way that I'm going to share tonight. So first of all, let's jump in and talk about what are essential oils. Because oftentimes, like when I started looking at oils, I had no idea, like, what is it? Like we think of like Wesson oil, when somebody uses that term oil, or oil for your car. So essential oils are actually the volatile liquid of the plant, meaning that they're going to evaporate. They're unlike a fatty oil, which is like your coconut oil or dust. So they are called the lifeblood of the plant. They are extracted from trees, shrubs, flowers, stems, and seeds. They don't have a shelf life, so they don't expire. They last a really long time. They're the purest, most potent form of an herb. They're very condensed and very powerful. And they're nothing new. Even though it seems like everybody's talking about it and it's the rage, they are the oldest known form of personal care dating back to 4500 BC, so a long time. So essential oils are, this is really critical here, guys. Essential oils are helpful for supporting all body systems, not just a few, every single body system. So like skeletal, muscular, cardiovascular, digestive, endocrine, nervous, respiratory, just to name a few. So they are used extensively for emotional support. Right here, I am proof of that. So um, oils can also be used as an alternative to toxic cleaning chemicals. And we're gonna focus a little bit more on sharing that aspect in this class tonight because I think for so many years, we haven't been aware of what we're using in our homes and how it's um, impacting our bodies. So listen for some statistics on that because I think it's going to surprise you. So you can literally start swapping out every single chemical cleaning item in your home um, with things made with essential oils and live a pure lifestyle. And you can do it without breaking the bank. So believe me, I'm a frugal person and I love to be able to share this with other people. So a little bit of history about essential oils. I already told you 4500 BC that they um, are dated back to, but they were first mentioned by name in the biblical book of Genesis in chapter 37 when Joseph, Joseph was sold to the slave traders. They carried spicery, balm, and myrrh. And then also we know Jesus was given gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Frankincense is actually sometimes referred to as the coconut oil of essential oils because it has over a thousand uses. Frankincense is powerful. We're going to talk about that one tonight. So some of the oldest cultures on earth used essential oils. The Egyptians used oils for beauty and embalming, and they have the oldest recorded deodorant recipe made with essential oils. So, so there are three ways to use essential oils, and we're going to talk about that now. So First of all, you can use them aromatically. So this is good, you guys. When inhaling, it takes only 22 seconds for an oil to reach the brain. That's amazing, 22 seconds. So the only way to reach the limbic portion of the brain is through your smell. And the only way to get there and that limbic part of your brain is where emotional stuff is stored. This is where it gets really powerful. So. So when you are um, inhaling an oil, it's getting right to that part of your brain where all the emotions are and it's giving you some um, support immediately. So that is, that, for me, that was a game changer. So, so our aromatically, you can see, oops, you guys can't really see my nice diffuser there. It's, you can see the vapor coming out. So you can use a diffuser. Here I have one of my favorites, this is the home diffuser. So you just put water in it and a few drops of essential oils and you have a vapor that spreads through the entire room. So it's wonderful because it affects people that maybe don't think that they want to use essential oils. It really is powerful. They're breathing it in as well. Um, you can take whiffs right from the bottle. So here's my stress away. 
you can smell it right from the bottle. It's great. I also have, um, I love this diffuser necklace. It has a little felt pad inside. You open it up and you can drop some essential oils in there and you've got it right with you everywhere you go. So it's great. So aromatically, very effective. I love it. Another way that you can use oils is topically, so putting them on your skin. Essential oil molecules are tiny and they're rapidly absorbed in your skin. When you apply an oil to the skin, it almost seems to disappear. So it's not going to sit on top of your skin like we're kind of familiar with, maybe coconut oil or if you're using grapeseed or something like that. So if you apply an oil topically, it's been found that they are in the bloodstream in 26 seconds. That's pretty fast, guys. When applied topically, it only takes two to three minutes to affect every cell in the body. And then oils are metabolized to the body in two to three hours. So one thing I like to remind people when, when they start using oils is that you want to be using oils frequently and consistently because they are metabolized out of your body in two to three hours. And that's kind of a shift. Usually when we have something that we're using, we either maybe have like a four, eight, or 12 hour window that we're used to, but remember, two to three hours and it's metabolized out. So you'll wanna reapply or be having the diffuser going or take internally, which we'll talk about too. So some of my favorite places to apply oils are my neck, um, the back of my neck, um, wrists, bottom of your feet are really a great spot to put oils because your pores are really big on your feet. And then along my spine, that's another area that I love to use oils. So, so we're also going to talk about the third way, which is internally. So you can actually ingest therapeutic grade oils like Young Living. Young Living has created a vitality line and um, it has distinct labels here with the white, which we'll talk a little bit more so you can easily recognize them. So you can put oils in your water. So I've got just a glass. Um, a mason jar here that I can use. I also have a glass water bottle which I love to use when I'm on the go and I even use it at home because I can drop some say lemon oil in my bottle, shake it up and then um, take a drink with it too. So and then oops where'd it go? You can also take oils in a little veggie capsule. So you can see that there and how you would use this you just pull the veggie capsule apart and then you would put a couple drops of, let's just talk lemon, we're using lemon vitality. Put lemon in there and you could add some carrier oil. And if you don't know what a carrier oil is, hang on, I'll let you know. Um, put that in there, put the cap back on, and then you can just take it like you normally would any other kind of capsule. So really convenient to take them internally as well. So love being able to use glass with my citrus oils, lemon, tangerine, orange, super fun, especially this time of the season when it's spring. So, um, and you want to make sure you're using glass when you're using, I love to use it on all my oils, but you for sure want to use it when you're using citrus oils because the citrus oils will actually break down plastic and you don't want to be then drinking down the chemicals because that's what plastic's made from, chemicals. So make, make sure you note that too. So. Do essential oils work? That's the biggest one. So when I started using oils, my husband was the biggest skeptic, okay? So, and that's good, that's his job. Like he was really wondering what in the world and he wanted the scientific part behind it. That's the brain that he has and so that was great. He got to do a little research as I was using them on myself and then started on our family. Then he began seeing real life results and so he kind of shifted. But I've used oils for over four years. When I first started looking at incorporating essential oils into my daily routine, I was, like I said, I'm the frugal mom, and I purchased oils off Amazon. A couple different companies, I was like, oh, this one looks good, and I like the price on this. But the problem was the lavender smelled <laughs> kind of good in my bathtub, or maybe when I was whiffing from the bottle, but I never really saw some significant... Um, results that I, you know, I was looking for some real support from my emotions and I didn't see that. So um, I was kind of bummed, but I also was taught a really good lesson that it really is important to do your research and then realize that there really is a difference 
in um, essential oils co companies. Um, in the United States, there is no rating system for essential oils, so you got to do your homework. And so hopefully tonight you'll learn a little bit about Young Living and why I chose Young Living for myself and my family. So we're going to talk a little bit about purity because that's pretty important, especially when you are taking the time to kick chemicals out of your life and do the best that you can for your body. You want to be putting into your body and on your body something that's pure, that doesn't have a lot of extra added stuff. So, so it's important to pay attention to fragrance. Does an oil smell delicate, rich, and organic? Do the aromas vary from batch to batch as an indication that they are painstakingly distilled in small batches rather than industrially processed on a large scale? That's something I had no idea. I didn't know to look for that, but now I do know. So if you've ever smelled peppermint essential oil and it smells really sweet, kind of like candy, um, that's not pure because if you go to a, a peppermint plant, you know, maybe you have peppermint growing in your yard, if you were to smell that, rub that leaf and smell your fingers, it's not going to smell like peppermint candy. So that's an indication that, um, you know, your oil shouldn't smell like that either. So some great interesting facts about Young Living that really were important to me and now with, you know, four years into use really makes a difference. So Young Living completes eight different tests on every single batch of oil and they have third party testing done as well by independent labs. Young Living is the only essential oil company with their own farms, and because of this, we are able to provide a seed to seal guarantee. So Gary Young, who's the founder of Young Living, has built nine farms around the world, and we also have a ton of partner farms as well. And he is all about opening his farm practices to anybody that wants to come look. So I've been Gosh, I should, I should know this off heart. At least four farms that I've actually been to. I worked to distill, um, harvest and distill Melissa in our um, St. Mary's farm. So anybody can come to the farm and see what is happening at any time. And I love that. And you don't even have to be a member. So you're not a member. You can still go by a Young Living Farm and check it out. I love that. So they are really into evolving people and letting them see um, what goes into our seed to seal process. So, you know, as I've been on this journey, I've realized that, you know, as a consumer, and I mean anybody, we deserve products that are genuine, free of synthetic chemicals, and of unmatched purity. And that's what you get with Young Living. And that is what, after doing some of your research, I really discovered, and that's why the C to Seal Guarantee is truly one of the best and closest things to my heart with Young Living. So we not only have beautiful farms, and they are organic, but we have distillation facilities right on those farms. So you're the oil, the plant material isn't being trucked somewhere else. They are being um, distilled on the farm. There are no pesticides or chemicals used on the farms, and they have crews that actually handpick the weeds, and I have done um, weeding in the lavender field in St. Mary's with a hoe with some friends of mine so um, so I can vouch for that. We Young Living was founded in 1993 and it's the oldest and most trusted essential oil company in the world. We have over 23 years of research and experience so if I was going to look at different oil, essential oils companies why wouldn't I go with the world leader and somebody who's been doing it the longest that's important to me so very good. Quality and integrity matter. So pesticides, pollution, previously farmed land, all of it can affect the quality of an oil. So why would you go the extra step of using an oil to get away from chemicals and then use an oil laden with chemicals? It just doesn't make sense. It does make sense to do your research. But sometimes people wonder like, well, how can I go down to Sprouts or Whole Foods and buy oils that are cheaper? Well. You can buy oils that are cheaper because they are adulterated. They're not all 100% pure. You can have a tiny bit of oil in a bottle and fill it up with other um, chemicals and products and still call it 100% pure because there still is that tiny bit of oil in there. So, And many companies do, th do this to save money. If you spray your crop with pesticides, you're going to have more crop to distill. If you use a bunch of 
um, fertilizers that are chemical fertilizers, your crop is going to grow bigger and larger. So there you go. You're going to have more crop to distill. If you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you're going to pour out, pull out more oil. If you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, like I just mentioned, you're going to stretch the oil that you actually distilled as well. So most co uh, companies are able to use these types of things to sell their oils cheaper because they cut corners. So, and Young Living does not cut corners. Cut corners. So, how oils are made. I love these facts. So, it takes a lot of work to make these oils. And when you get a little bottle and then you realize the work that's behind it, it's really powerful. So, it takes 60,000 rose blossoms to provide only one ounce of rose oil. That's huge. Lavender is pretty abundant. 220 pounds will provide seven pounds of oil. And this one is really incredible. Jasmine. So I love jasmine and it's a pretty pricey oil. And here's why. Jasmine flowers must be picked by hand before the sun becomes hot on the very first day they open, thus making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. It takes eight million hand-picked blossoms to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. Wow, that's a lot. But here's the thing too, a little goes a long way. Most oils are between 10 and $30 a bottle. A five milliliter bottle like this size here contains about 90 drops. A 15 milliliter bottle, which is larger, I don't have one here sitting on my table, is about 250 drops. So each application, is one to three drops, whatever you choose to use, meaning even a small bottle will get you 45 to 90 applications. So this Thieves Cleaner that's right here is made only from plant material and it costs about $1.50 a bottle when you mix it up. This is a concentrate, so it's fabulous. You get to choose the dilution rate on whatever it is that you're gonna be cleaning. So. You can't even get organic cleaner in the section at your grocery store for $1.50 a bottle. Like, really. So, it replaces all kinds of cleaner, cleaners that you have. I use it on everything. My windows, and especially out here at the beach, we get salt spray on our outdoor windows, and I love it. It's so easy to use on our windows, on my floor, on my bathroom, in my toilet, anything, you guys. It's really wonderful to have an all plant paste um, cleaner that is um, frugal and easy on our budget. So, so are they safe? I wanna go over through with you a few safety things because um, like photosensitive oils, uh, lemon would be one. Most of the citrus oils, our stress away has some citrus in it, so you would want, this would be counted as a photosensitive oil, meaning you don't wanna wear it and then go outside in the sunshine and let it beat down on you all day. You would get um, burned. So, you wanna be really careful. When using oil on your skin, you always wanna watch for any kind of redness. Um, that just means that your skin is kind of sen sensitive and you'll wanna dilute with a carrier oil. Always dilute oils on your children. Um, that's really careful um, to keep in mind because their skin is definitely more sensitive. It's more permeable and absorbs the oil more quickly. So. So I talked a little bit about carrier oil. I mentioned carrier oil. So what is a carrier oil? It is a fatty oil like olive oil or coconut oil and its molecules are much larger than the molecules in an essential oil. So using a carrier oil with an essential oil slows down the rate the body can actually absorb the essential oil. So you're not going to have um, that sensitivity and redness. So. Um, so that is really one of those tips that you want to keep um, handy as you begin using essential oils. So you want to be wary of putting oils topically near your eyes. Some oils like peppermint can cause a burning sensation. So if you are going to be placing any oil around your eyes, say like frankincense or maybe lavender, you can put it on a little Q-tip and then rub it around and don't be trying to pour the bottle like by your eye. That is not a good scenario. So, um, so you just want to be careful. If you do happen to get some in your eye, you don't want to use water. You want to use a carrier oil because water and oil don't mix and it's going to make it worse. So you'll want to put some carrier oil in your eye and then that will help relieve that essential oil from burning your eye more. So um, you can become desensitized to oils if you use the same one every single day. So I love to tell people, you know, if you're looking for immune support, 
switch it up a little bit and that's what I do I use a variety of oils and you know switch them out every few days and it's a great way to experience some new oils and your body everybody's body is so different and they respond differently so I love that so what about a turn internal use we talked a little bit about that so it can be a little bit overwhelming, but that's where Young Living has made it easier because we created the Vitality line here, and these are all the ones that are listed here at the top. So it determines what oils that you can actually take internally. We can talk about internal use of these Vitality oils, but here's the great thing to know. The oils that come in our Vitality labeled um, bottles are the same exact oil that is in our aromatic and topically labeled oil. So if I had um, thieves here and then a regular bottle of thieves, it's the same exact oil. However, I can only talk about taking thieves internally if I'm showing you and sharing with you the thieves vitality bottle. So this is how we can get, be all in compliance with the FDA and make everybody happy. So, but what, the one thing I do want you to know, it's the same exact oil. There is nothing difference between a Thieves Vitality labeled oil and a Thieves that's labeled for topical and aromatic use. So, so I started my oily journey with the Young Living Pre Premium Starter Kit, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. It's the only thing the only thing in Young Living that is actually half off, okay? So if that didn't get your frugal ears up, um, then hang on because we're going to talk a little bit more about this. So it is definitely the biggest bang for your buck. So this is the fun part. And if you were sitting here at my house, I would get to pass around the oils and share with you and you get to smell them. So until Facebook comes with smell vision we don't get that um, fun part. But we are going to talk about frankincense, which is down here. So frankincense is a very valuable and sought after oil. You've probably heard of it many times before. It was considered more valuable than gold in ancient times. Only those that had great wealth and abundance could possess it. Frankincense includes the natural occurring constituent boswellic acid and has a woodsy, warm, warm balsamic um, aroma. So it's very... Um, uh, musky, I guess I would say, and and it's amazing how it is so great for emotional support. So this one here is labeled topical and aromatic. So using it um, in a diffuser necklace is great. In your diffuser, applying it topically, it is excellent for skin support. Fabulous. So I have been known to put it around my eyes. I love to mix it in with my sandalwood night moisturizer that I use. I just put a couple drops in that moisturizer every few days um, in the evening and it's fabulous. So look at, I mean, come on guys, I'm 50. <laughs> so um, talked about the diffuser. That's a great way. People love to use frankincense during their prayer time. So it's a very spiritual oil. It also includes the natural occurring constituent alpha pinene and it's high in sesquiterpenes, which are two really good things. If you want to Google those, you can find out more. Alpha, pinene, and sesquiterpenes. So we're going to talk about lavender next, which is right down here. To you guys, if you, that's probably one of the oils everybody has always smelled because it's easily found in lots of different things, even, you know, in um, maybe an eye pillow or something that you end up purchasing. So it's definitely one of the most popular oils. It is also one of the most adulterated oils as well. So it's really important to know where your lavender oil is coming from. It's very relaxing, calming, and it has a great scent. I bet you can agree with me, lavender is probably one that appeals to most everybody. It's great to use to cleanse um, your skin. Um, it's great to support normal sleep. Um, wonderful for occasional stress. I don't know about you, but occasional stress happens to me. Um, and for, for soothing sun-exposed skin. So we were just on a cruise and maybe spent a little bit more time in the sun and it was just great to have lavender along and my son, this was an area and here and then on his arms that we would put this on every evening before he went to bed. So it was great. Um, wonderful in an Epsom salt bath as well, and I love to use lavender in my wool dryer balls. We don't use dryer sheets 
in our home. We have it for probably, oh gosh, two and a half years. So if you're still using dryer sheets, I would Google um, why you don't want to be using dryer sheets. They're just full of chemicals. So if you can find another alternative, like dryer balls, put some essential oils in there, it's it's just a great alternative for you to be taking one more chemical out of your house. So next is purification right here. So this one is actually a blend um, that's exclusive to Young Living. It has citronella, lemongrass, lavendine, rosemary, tea tree, and myrtle. Um, it is great for freshening the air. So when we actually moved into this house about four years ago, um, and we walked in and everything was new, the carpet, the paint on the wall, it was overwhelming. Like my senses were over the top. And you know that feeling, it's like chemical because you've got carpet made out of chemical stuff and you've got paint on the walls. So we put purification in our diffusers. I had, I think, three in this space and we left for the day and we came back and that that was gone, all that smell. And that's the thing with diffusing oils. It actually takes care of the issue at hand. It's not just being covered up by a spray that you spray around or something that you plug in your wall. So powerful for odor, um, help with different kinds of odors. So I also have a little bottle that's mixed up with purification that I spray on my dogs when we come back from the beach. So it's a lot easier than totally giving them a whole bath every time we do that, and it's very effective. Great for using in your laundry if you have stinky uh, sports clothing, maybe riding around in your car now. This would be a great one to have a little spray mixed up as well, or in um, shoes. In people, I hear people of teenagers all the time putting purification in their teenage boy shoes. So. The next one we're going to talk about is RC. So this is also another blend. It's cypress, spruce, and it has three types of eucalyptus. You've got eucalyptus globulus, eucalyptus radiata, and eucalyptus citrodora. And it includes the natural occurring constituent limonene. So we'll talk about that one in another one when we talk about lemon, which is D-limonene, but this has limonene. So lots of wonderful... Um, benefits with using RC, people love to use it because of those eucalyptus oils. If you've smelt eucalyptus, you know when you smell that, it's like it just opens up your airways and it's really powerful to have on hand during the winter months or this time in the spring when all the seasonal stuff is going on, really handy for that. It's great to use an Epsom salt bath. Um, also, um, uh, making a nice chest rub. I love putting some um, coconut oil in with the RC and then we just have it and can put it on the chest or on the back before my little guy goes to bed and it's great. So uh, the next one we're going to talk about is Panaway. So Panaway has a really wonderful and unique aroma and it's pretty popular. It has a combination of wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. So this blend is ideal to apply topically after exercise and after daily activity. So if you're out doing lots of exercise or maybe working in the yard, pan away is going to be your friend. So helichrysum, which is one of the oils in here, um, can actually be used to soothe overworked muscles and defend against harmful free back radicals, which is great to know. And wintergreen is very soothing, has calming properties, and has a really cre clean, brisk um, aroma to it as well. So great one for after any kind of exercise or maybe overdoing things a little bit. And people love to use it um, as part of a body massage. So if you're using Panaway as a massage, I encourage you to use it with a carrier oil because you're going to be able to cover a larger area of the body and Panaway is one of um, the more expensive oils that comes in your kit. And I love to be frugal and we want to stretch it as far as we can. Something to say when we say dilute an oil, we're not diluting the effectiveness of it at all. We are just diluting it so it covers a larger area. So keep that in mind. So we are going to jump to talk to some about a few Vitality oils. Here I've got Thieves Vitality. So this is a blend exclusive to Young Living. If you've seen some counterfeits out there, then you know Young Living is the original for the Thieves oil. 
Um, it is definitely probably one of our most popular blends. It is clove, cinnamon bark, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. It was actually inspired by the legend of four 15th century French thieves who formulated a special aromatic combination composed of clove, rosemary, and some other botanicals that they used while robbing the dead and dying. So Young Living is Thieves is one of a kind blend crafted in the spirit of that legendary combination. So, so we have the Thieves Vitality Oil, but we have a bunch of other um, Thieves product. Like I mentioned, the Thieves Cleaner. We've got this great Thieves Spray, which uh, we just use a ton when we were traveling um, on the airplane. We also have a Thieves Hand Purifier, which is great. You're not going to have the stuff that you don't want to have in a um, hand purifier. So, love. We have Thieves Toothpaste, which I love. Mouthwash. Seriously, dish soap, all kinds of stuff, guys. It's really a fabulous oil um, to use in combination with all kinds of things in your home. So, um, Thieves is excellent for immune support. If you can think back to the, the little story I told you on why, how it even got its name, that it was being used by people who were robbing the dead and dying, and they lived to tell about it, um, there goes to show you that it's pretty powerful for immune support. Um, and a lot of people fall in love with the scent. It's great. So the aromatic and topical one, I love to throw in the diffuser and just have that. It smells like fall when we put it in the diffuser. So we're going to talk about peppermint vitality. Um, so peppermint, we all know what that smells like, but it is great for supporting gastrointestinal comfort and also your um, digestive system. Uh, it helps maintain efficiency of your digestive tract, and it's super easy to use. This is one where using it in your water is great. You can just put a couple drops under your tongue if you wanted. You could use it in that capsule that I showed you earlier. Or here's my little secret that I use it. So I have this little atomizer. You can buy six of these on Amazon, and I make my own breath spray because I don't chew gum anymore. There's chemicals in gum. I don't need that. But I want to have fresh breath, okay? So, so you just fill it up with some distilled water and put four or five drops of peppermint in there, and you've got a breast spray that is non-toxic and actually makes your breast smell good. So there you go. So love that. Amazon, you can find these little spritzers, and they're great. You could even make other perfume blends using that with the other oils too. So it's really um, a great alternative. So, so I love, ooh, I feel so good after that peppermint shot. <clears throat> so love it. Next is Lemon Vitality, which is over here in the corner. So it's cold pressed from the rind of the fruit, meaning the oil doesn't actually contain the acid that's found in the pulp. So if you drink a lot of um, like warm, um, a mug of warm water with lemons in it, you're actually getting the acid on your teeth. And sometimes people are really worried about their enamel. Um, but when you're using lemon essential oil, that doesn't happen because we don't have the acid because we are using the rind. So I love, it's one of my favorites to have in my water, like in my water bottle I showed you earlier. Um, and it includes 68% limonene as well, which is a powerful antioxidant. It's a key ingredient in thieves, which we just talked about, and also Ningxia Red, which I'll talk about in a minute here at the end. It's great for supporting the immune system. Pretty powerful, guys. So love having lemon. Plus, it is one of the least expensive oils as well. And so if I have a choice between using several different oils, my go-to oil is always going to be the one that's least expensive. If that one doesn't work, then I'll step it up. So we use a lot of lemon in our house because it's really powerful. So, so now the next one we're going to talk about is Cofaiba, and this is also the Vitality. It promotes overall wellness. It supports nearly every system in the body. Super incredible. It's like the unsung hero of our kit, really. I think people go gaga over frankincense, but Mr. Copaiva up here, um, he misses out. So it has a high level of beta lean, which you'll want to Google. So if you go to the Young Living website and type in Copaiva, you're going to get that. I can't spell it out here, but if you Google it, beta lean, then you're going to be able to Google that and see what that, what has properties. I mean, what 
properties that has, that constituent has, and why copaiba is so fabulous. So um, copaiba can be um, heavily diluted and used on the um, gums of teething babies, so super great to have on hand for that. And it was traditionally used to aid digestion as well. So another one that's great for digestion is our digize here. So this one is a blend of ginger, anise, fennel, peppermint, tarragon, lemongrass, patchouli, and juniper. It is a top oil for supporting your digestive system. A lot of people definitely use it with the capsule. It does not have a super great smell and it doesn't taste that great, but it's super effective. So you can add um, a couple drops of peppermint along when you're using the Digize. Um, the Digize Vitality, I will use always in a capsule. I can't be somebody who drips it under my tongue and use it that way, that's just not me. So I always have capsules on hand, but it's great. If you go out for like a big Mexican dinner and you come home and you know that feeling, you're like, oh. I go and I use my, my Digize and a little bit of peppermint and it's like, ah, oh, it feels so good. And then I don't have to worry, like it's not giving my body something that it really doesn't need. It's very powerful in and supporting my digestive system, so. And then in our starter kit, you get a bonus oil, which is Stress Away here. And I love Stress Away. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. Um, this one is another blend. It has copaiba, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, ocatea, lavender, and a little coconut oil in it. So it's a wonderful blend that is um, stress relieving and relaxing. It can help reduce that occasional nervous tension. And I love that with the inclusion of the copaiba in it, it helps um, just deal with mental kind of stuff. So if you're a mom, um, I will say that we nickname this one Mom Crack because if you, I, I don't think there's a day I go through where I don't break out the stress away. There is just something that happens when I smell it and I can make everything okay in my house. So, <laughs> so if you're a mom or you're a mom to fur babies, those guys, those little fur babies can drive us crazy too. It is definitely Mom Crack and you're going to love it. So. So I mentioned Ningxia Red really quick. I want to talk about this because in the starter kit, you actually get two samples of these little packets. So, and people have fun learning how to say it. I say it Ningxia Red. Some people say it, call it Ninja Juice. It doesn't matter. It's all good. So, so Ningxia Red is an incredible, um, specially formulated, powerful antioxidant drink that tastes great and fortifies the body and replenishes key nutrients. So it's a propriety blend of essential oils such as orange, yuzu, lemon, tangerine, as well as wolf berries. So the Ningxia wolfberry from China. So it's from China's Ningxia province and it's a wide variety of vitamins in it, um, whole fruits like blueberries, apricots, raspberries, and pomegranates too. So what's so great about Ningxia? Well, it's balanced ingredients make Ningxia Red a whole body nutrient infused for health and wellness support. It's wonderful. It's incredible antioxidant support. Um, it supports normal cellular function and it contains powerful ingredients that are involved in many natural antioxidant processes. That's a big buzzword antioxidant so just google that too and you'll learn a little bit more why you really want to have antioxidant things in your daily routine so all the ningxia i love that the little packets come in the starter kit because these are so great for on the go we also have it in bottle size as well and that's how we typically buy it for our family and we don't go a day without Ningxia. That's my number one product from Young Living. If I could only pick one thing to use for the rest of my life, it would be Ningxia Red. So, so you've gotten a lot of information now. Like, what does this look like? How do I begin? So we just talked about this premium starter kit. And that is really the best choice to kick off your chemical-free journey and just kind of moving forward in that. So... If you take the diffuser out of the equation here, you're literally getting 11 bottles of oils that are therapeutic grade for $70, okay? 
You can't even get cheap oils down at your local health food store for that. So remember, each of these bottles, these size, contain 90 drops of oil. That's 90 applications. So uh, who wouldn't pay six cents for a drop of these Vitality to give you some immune support and know that it's all natural? You don't have to worry about that. The kit also comes with some great little um, bottles here so you can either put some oils in your purse and, and take them along with you or you can pass them out to friends. You also get some little sachets. Um, you get, oh, the roller ball. This is really great. So it comes with a roller ball that fits on any of the bottle tops. And what makes this great is that imagine that there's an oil here, but you can just roll it onto your skin. Most people of us moms put it right on the stress away and then you have it and it has a cap here so then you just keep the roller bottle on and it's easy for application so you get one of those roller bottles as well and then you get the two samples of Ningxia and you get some sample cards as well so you get all of these goodies here and a lifetime wholesale membership for $160 that's 50% off the retail prices for the bottles of oil, the diffuser, and all of that. Plus, there's no strings attached. You, if you purchase your kit and you decide later, it's not for me, like I'm not into it, no worries, no sweat, nobody's gonna bother you, it's fine. You don't have to worry about anything else. Um, but if you do order after you purchase your starter kit with that membership, you save 24% on every single order that you do. And you don't have to sell anything ever. Really, <laughs> I know that's one of the things that people get really um, kind of leery about, and that was me. Like when I bought my kit, it was just for me. I just wanted something for myself and my family. But what ended up happening is I had such crazy good results that people were asking me, like, "What are you doing? What's so different?" And so then I would just kind of share, and then they would be like, "Well, I want to get one of those." So Young Living has it set up so that if you refer somebody you are actually gonna get a little check saying thank you. And that little check can actually grow to be something bigger if that's a, you know that's the journey that you wanna take. But we can talk more about that later. So it's just nice to know if you refer somebody, you're gonna be rewarded for that too. And then if you enroll with a member of the Confident Oilers, one of our team um, members, we provide a ton of support because I would hate for somebody to buy a kit get it you know, in their home and not know what to do with it. So we have a private Facebook group, which is great for education. We do online um, classes to help keep everybody educated as well. You get some reference material. Um, I send out a monthly newsletter. Lots of great stuff to create some community so that everybody can learn uh, on, their, on their own pace, but the resources are there. So. So now I'm going to get real with you as we close up because, you know, I, yeah, obviously you can tell I'm a little bit passionate about this. This is something that's really changed my life. And if I didn't get paid a cent for telling people about Young Living, I would still go around telling people about Young Living because that's the difference that it's made in my life. So chemical free living is huge. Okay. And I just wish that I would have known a little bit more when I was younger and my older kids were younger. So, but I know now and I can make changes for that. So the number two cause of death in the United States is cancer. Okay. That shouldn't shock you, but it did me a little bit. So over 1,600 people a day die of cancer. One in three cases in the U.S. are directly linked to a poor diet, physical inactivity, weight, or chemical exposure. Chemical exposure, okay? So the American Cancer Society says that only 5 to 10% of all cancer cases are from gene defects. 5%. That means 95% of cancer cases are under our control. It's a what? It's what we allow in our homes and what happens in our homes. Physical inactivity, chemical exposure, what we eat, all those things. So you really do have power here. And that's where I love to be able to empower people. So the National Institute of Occupational Safety studied over 2,900 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients, 314 of them cause biological mutations. 
That's not good. 218 cause reproductive problems. This is not a, a secret either. You know who has a friend out there that is having a hard time getting pregnant. And we have to wonder all of this stuff that we've been using and putting on our skin and everything, it takes a toll on our body. 778 of these products were toxic to the human body. 146 were known to cause cancer tumors, but were allowed in the United States, even though they're banned in other countries around the world. Many of these chemicals are allowed in common cleaning supplies in the United States. Things under your own cabinet right now. I bet if you went to look under your own cabinet, you would find ingredients. You can Google um, an app. It's called Think Dirty, and you can take um, a shot of the UP. C code and it's going to tell you what is in there and it gives it a rating and you will be flabbergasted at some of the ratings on your products. So gets me kind of emotional. Okay, so remember we talked about 26 seconds after you apply something on your skin, the essential oil, it's in your bloodstream. The same goes for chemicals, guys. Okay, 26 se seconds after exposure, chemicals are found in measure amounts in the human body. The average woman applies 300 chemicals in, um, to her home, body at, at home a day, 80 before breakfast. Think about what you use in the shower. What makeup do you use? What are you doing when you're making breakfast? What dish soap do you have? All of that. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals in our home, first is air fresheners. What you're spraying, what you're plugging in your wall, um, and then candles, same thing. Second on the list is chemical cleaning supplies, um, drain and oven cleaners, and furniture polish, as well as dishwasher soap and dish soap. Beauty supplies and personal care products, hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant are laden with chemicals. Most deodorant has aluminum in it, and we've been slathering it on our lymph nodes for over 70 years. That's me. Let's say I just started using deodorant at like, you know, 12, so... For 38 years, I've been using this deodorant until I learned better and now can use something that doesn't have toxic chemicals on it. Many scientists believe aluminum exposure may be linked to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, so it's not good. One of the top pollutants in your family home is laundry soap and fabric softener. I talked about we switched to dryer balls because it was the better option. You wash your clothes in toxic laundry soap it sits on your skin, those same clothes, it outgasses in your closet all night long, and then you're smelling that in and wearing it on your skin. That information is straight from the government, from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's top 10 killer household chemical studies, okay? There are 100,000 chemicals on the market today. The Toxic Substance Control Act of 1976, guys, that's kind of a while ago, um, grandfather them. What does that mean? Simply put, these chemicals have not had any safety testing and we know very little information about their side effects. Dr. Samuel Epstein, which is chairman of the Cancer Prevention Coalition, says it's unthinkable that women would knowingly inflict such exposures on their infants and children and themselves if products were routinely labeled and explicit warnings of cancer risks were on there, but they are not labeled. They do not have to be labeled. Since the 1940s, prostate cancer is up 200%, thyroid cancer 155%, brain cancer 70%, and the American Cancer Society estimates a 50% rise in cancer rates by 2020. Okay, this is not fluffy, oh yay, I'm gonna just put some essential oils and smell in my house to make it nice, okay? I'm here to give you guys the gut-wrenching truth, okay? It's time to make a different choice for you and your family. What happens when your body is chemically overloaded? That's the question. So say you're fatigued and this is what happens, guys. You may say it, see it in something as catastrophic as cancer. I pray you don't. But most of us feel it in other ways. Lethargy, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, skin issues, adult acne, hot flashes, stress, and fear and anxiety. 
That's how overexposure to chemicals can play itself out. If you face any of those issues, it's time to kick the chemicals to the curb. You can control it, and that's what I love to do is empower people. So when I began researching oils about four years ago and I got my starter kit, you know, I shared with you about that, and I began my journey, and I started right where you're at today. I knew nothing about what to do, and here I am four years later, and um, it's about anything. You're learning something new, and we would love to walk alongside you. So it's all about baby, baby steps, taking small steps. So saying no to things that um, you know you can do a better job at. So I'm not going to allow these chemicals in my home. You, as most of you, I imagine, are homemakers. You're watching along with me, and you have the ability to help and make that ch that choice. You are the gatekeeper of your home. So you can come learn alongside our team, and we would love to be able to share that. So we would share how to get you started with the premium starter kit, learning how to use these 11 bottles of oils. Um, what's great is the oil has just what it says. If this is a bottle of frankincense, that's what it is. It's just frankincense resin, properly steam distilled at the right temperature. If this is lemon, that's all that's in there is the distilled lemon rind. There's nothing else. So we want to help empower you as well. So, so maybe you're a little skeptical still, even after this information, no problem. I'm so glad you showed up and we're here and got a little information. If you have other questions, I encourage you to reach out to the person that invited you because they would love to sit and chat a little bit more, give you a little bit more information. Um, they are here to help you be empowered too. Or perhaps you're like I was when I was ready to jump in with my starter kit and make changes right then, I was like there. So I encourage you to con contact the person that invited you to this class. They are going to be your main contact person and one that will support you along in the journey and help you get started. But maybe you're really like, oh my gosh, like I am ready to jump in all of it. I want to ditch my toothpaste, my toxic mouthwash, my dip so dish soap, my cleaner, all of that. And I, so I encourage you then, if you're that person, then you can grab your starter kit but you can also sign up for Essential Rewards, which is Young Living's great monthly box um, shipment that is totally flexible and you get to earn a percentage back on your products. So you get to pick the oils that come to your door every single month, the products that go in that box. You can begin immediately switching out chemical laden products in your home with plant-based products. So, and you'll start out by earning 10% back right away going all the way up to earning 25% back. So that is fabulous to me. Target doesn't give me 25% back. So that's 10% back on your laundry soap, your dish soap, your toothpaste, your mouthwash. Um, if you're into looking at replacing your skincare items, Young Living has skincare too. We have supplements too. We are not just essential oils, so it's great. So if you are interested in switching out your chemicals in your home, the Thieves Essential Reward Kit is one that you want to look at for that too. So you'll love it. Plus, Young Living has free oils and products that they send to everybody every month at different purchase levels. So you can learn more about that. But everybody loves free. That's me. I love free. So don't wait, guys, okay? Every day you continue to use toxic products on your skin, in your home, with your family, um, is one more day you're taking a chance. So I'm thankful that I learned when I did. Hopefully you are you know, earlier and younger than I am and you have the ability to make some huge strides with your family and being educated, empowered, and rid your home of unnecessary chemicals. So hopefully this was educational for you guys. I'm glad you showed up. I went a little bit longer than my 45 minutes that I wanted to, but I hope that you found this helpful. Please know you can easily invite somebody to this event and they can watch it anytime. So this should be up for about two weeks and um, they can watch it and um, you could actually end up having a friend come alongside you and join you and go along the same um, the same way that you are. So, so I encourage you, make the step now. Reach out to the person that invited you tonight. Um, I do believe 
that with all my heart, if you take that step to learn something new and incorporate non-toxic products in your home with your family, it will be a huge, huge blessing. So thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you guys have a great night. Take care.